Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD is pushing even harder against Intel. RX 6000S GPUs, you may finally be able to buy a GPU, tons of new Nvidia cards, and Intel just sees their ARC gaming GPUs. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD is clearly hard at work to further their commitment to the server space with their upcoming Epic CPUs. In a new post originally from 4 Onyx and later by Tech Power Up, a new Linux driver confirms that AMD is set to support up to 12 channel DDR5 memory with their Zen 4 based Epic CPUs. That's a big boost over their current 8, and it's definitely important for the server space as memory bandwidth is really important. Not only that, but there's set to support RDDR5 and LRDDR5. Basically, AMD isn't done when it comes to their server CPUs, proving that they're trying more than ever to dethrone Intel. Time, as always, will tell. But first, if you're looking for the ultimate solution for your business, trust the place I use for my first ever PC build with today's sponsor. Micro Center, every tech lover's heaven. I mean, they've got everything. I'm talking motherboards, cases, CPUs, and more. And they recently launched their new lineup of business solutions, from getting an Intel or AMD-based pre-built workstation to customizing your own server or workstation, Micro Center has an answer no matter the size of your business. And with over 40 years of experience with the most sophisticated technologies in the world, Micro Center can help you with whatever your business needs are. Their systems are ready to tackle any task from complex simulations to detailed renderings. Basically, there's no better place to go for your server or workstation needs. Not only that, but I've partnered with Micro Center to bring new customers a free 240GB SSD with no purchase necessary. Just visit the link in the description to pick yours up today. Next up, it looks like AMD is working on a new refresh of their RX 6000 GPUs. In a new post from Video Cards, they received information from a leaker who's gotten things right multiple times in the past. According to him, AMD is set to release a refresh of their RX 6000 GPUs called 6000S. Sound familiar? Now, these are apparently set to be for mobile, but a little while back, Graymon55 claimed that lower SKUs of their RX 7000 GPUs will be a 6 nanometer refresh. So clearly AMD plans to use these for desktop as well. And that means these are probably also 6 nanometers. When it comes to performance, we know that TSMC's 6 nanometer process gives an 18% higher density over 7 nanometers, and it should provide better clocks and efficiency. Meaning even if AMD's S parts aren't built on any kind of improved architecture, they could still get a fairly decent boost over their non-refresh cards. We'll just have to wait and see if it's enough to compete against Intel and Nvidia's upcoming mobile parts. Next up for today, you may finally be able to buy a GPU soon. If you've been following the channel, you know that Nvidia recently released their new RTX 2060 12GB GPU. As I went over then, the company seemed to have released the GPU more for miners than gamers. Of course, Nvidia is already making Turing-based GPUs for miners, so that pretty much sucks. I mean, it's a gaming card being sold to miners, and pretty much no one has stock, so it was yet another disappointment. Well, in a new story from PC Gamer, that may not be the case for long. According to them, Nvidia expects, quote, partner card availability to ramp starting the end of December through January. Meaning if you're having a really hard time picking up a new GPU, you may finally get a chance with the 12GB 2060. Of course, you'll likely have to fight off miners given it's literally better at mining than the 3060. But remember that this isn't based on Ampere, so it'll be GPUs Nvidia can sell without affecting their RTX 3000 production. Basically, this could be a decent chance to finally grab a GPU at a decent price. Maybe. Next up, it looks like Nvidia is set to announce a ton of new GPUs. And of course, we've heard about these before, but this time the final release dates have leaked. In new posts from video cards, they were able to get launch dates for multiple GPUs. Starting things off, we have the RTX 3050, which is set to be an entry-level GPU that actually comes with a very nice 8GB of GDDR6. As for the dates, it's set to be announced on January 4th with the release on January 27th. Next we have the 16GB RTX 3070 Ti, which is basically what it sounds like. The card comes with the same amount of cores, but with double the VRAM. It's actually set to be announced on December 17th with a release date for January 11th. And finally is Nvidia 
NVIDIA's leaked RTX 3090 Ti, which if you remember is set to use the full fat GA102 GPU, which means 10,752 cores, and it's set to be a massive power hog with a 450 watt TGP. That card is to be announced on January 4th with a release on January 27th. And of course, to keep up with all of these product launches, make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld and hit that bell icon so you're notified when those drop. And lastly for today, Intel just released a teaser trailer for their upcoming Arc Alchemist GPUs. For those who don't know, Alchemist is set to be Intel's first real jump into discrete gaming GPUs. It's based on their XE HPG architecture, which means high performance gaming GPUs with ray tracing and all the good stuff from modern graphics cards. Well, Intel recently released a new trailer slash gameplay video which goes through some games and shows off some of the upcoming tech. Now, unfortunately, they don't give us any FPS or anything to indicate performance, but they did show us this. And if you zoom in, you can see that the GPU uses a single 8-pin connector, so it's definitely not a power hog. Unfortunately, you can't see the card too well, but it looks like a typical squared off GPU. So not anything like we saw in those wild concept images that Intel shared a little while back. Plus, this is clearly a desktop card, meaning they aren't just mobile GPUs. Either way, they confirmed a Q1 launch, so expect an announcement fairly soon. Hopefully, it's CES in January, which looks to be the venue for a ton of announcements. At the end of the day, the main thing to worry about is, of course, availability and price. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's foray into GPUs, or are you just wanting to pick up any GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!